Hey, what's going on everyone? This episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about designing our activities. Now this is designed for the complete beginner, so if you have some experience with design, this might be a little bit of a refresher. All right, so let's take a look at one of our activities. We have the settings, uh, activity underscore settings to XML, and this is where we can design it. Now we do have this button on here, it doesn't do literally anything, so I'm just going to delete that by hitting the delete key. Now. So we have these, we're just basically going to go over the user interface, some of the key things you need to know, and so forth. So let's just go complete overview, 1,000 foot. Very first thing is we have these two different views. We have the design, the blueprint, and then the, the dual view. So if we go to design, it looks like that. Go to blue, blueprint, it looks like that. And then we can go to both. Now, the design is going to show a little bit more of what it looks like. Um, so for example, we could take... A, a uh, let's go with yeah let's put a button on here and then what we can do is in our constraints we could say visibility and we can say invisible we'll take a look at this it shows up on the the blueprint one but not on the design one so the blueprint one's going to give you a little bit more of a a blueprint so yeah I personally just leave both up but if for some reason you just want some more space you can kind of either zoom in or you can just get rid of one of them so let's get rid of that button we're not going to need that for right now but that's the first thing i wanted to show you guys next you can change the orientation of the device uh, another thing is you you can choose the size of the device right here or what phone you're working with but you can alternatively take a corner maybe if it's going to let me oh there it is there's a little thing here you can drag this up and it'll tell you about which is a uh, which size goes where, <laughs> and that way you can do a completely custom size, and that's going to resize everything. You can do that if you want to test for, you know, dynamicness, uh, test to see if it's responsive for different screen sizes. So that is very very useful. Now you can see it says custom here, so we're no longer on a specific one. We're on custom, so you can always go back if you want. You can select one of these, like so. Now the next thing I wanted to show you guys is the component tree. So this is basically a structural representation of how our activity is laid out. Right now we have one layout and a layout is basically a collection of different views which we can grab from over here. So for example, we can grab a text view, we can grab a button, and you can see, as I've explained in earlier episodes, these are indented a little bit because they are inside, inside of that constraint layout. So we can select that entire constraint layout and that's going to contain those two things inside of them. So why is this important exactly? Well, you can think of it as putting these inside of the box. So when you have the box, you can move the box and everything inside of the box moves with it. So if we are working with some other, we'll go into layouts and just add another constraint layout here. We can drag this one around, but if we put some stuff inside of it, such as this button, well, that gets that remains in that position relative to its parent, which is the constraint layout right here. Now you will notice you get some errors here, and we're going to be talking about those. So don't worry about those for right this second. Um, we'll get into the anchoring as well as the if you have a string on here, it'll complain about something. So for example, this text view it should complain about that as well. So. Watch this, let me anchor this real quick. You'll get this little exclamation mark saying it should use at string resource. We're gonna be talking about that soon as well. So don't worry about that for right now. Let's clean up our page, let's get rid of that constraint layout and you can see everything inside of it also goes away. So that's important to know. Now with the constraint layout, that is a, a layout that basically position stuff based on constraints, which is how things are connected to either the parent or other views. So when we put in a text view, it looks like it's in the middle here, but it's actually going to jump up to the top left corner, which is why it says it's going to jump up to zero, zero, right there. So to fix that, we need to anchor it on the left and we need to anchor it on the top. You could also do the right or bottom, but you have to do one either on the left or right, and you have to do one either on the top or bottom, so that way it knows where to position it. 
Now, if you zoom in here a little bit, you can notice that there's some space here. And that space is determined by this right here. So right now it says 16 dp, and that's the default spacing. So if you want more default spacing, for example, oh, I keep going away, stop it. All right, let's try this. We'll try 100. Now it's not gonna change what's already there. Those have already been established, but if we go add a new button in here and we anchor it, look, it, it defaults to 100 there. So that's useful. So that is one way you can anchor. You can anchor to the edges of the, the parent container, but you can also anchor based on another view. So for example, you can lock this position here and now it's going to always be 100 DP from this text view. That's the alternative way of positioning stuff if you want things to be relative to the other views inside. Now, all of this gets translated to XML, and you can see that inside this text tab here. Look at this. Great. Yeah, it's kind of boring. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of these constraints here. Get rid of them here, and get rid of them here. Now, when you look in the text, you got this button. You can see it says Layout Editor Absolute X. That just says where it's positioned in the editor. When you actually anchor the thing, it's going to show up differently. So we anchor it, and now you can see layout margin, margin top 100 dp, and we have uh, this constraint top to top of parent. So thankfully, we don't have to write this stuff because that would be a huge pain. So that's the basics of designing. Obviously, it's not. I'm not teaching you guys how to make it pretty uh, that's either going to be for another series or for you to experiment with what I'm trying to do is teach you the functionality here and how everything works um, there's all kinds of different uh, views you can use from the palette so give some of them a try drag them on here and see how they show up and learn how to oh it doesn't like that okay let's all right well fragments that's a whole nother beast we're going to talk about those later Fragments is basically where you can put a, uh, it's kind of like a miniature, uh, a miniature activity that you can put inside of your other activities and you can reuse them and so forth. So that's the basics. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was or if you'd like more of this stuff. Let's go into the next episode because we're going to get into some more cool things. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and all. Uh, hopefully that gave you enough information to actually position stuff where you want them. All right, bye.